Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com, and in this video, I am talking about the Walmart credit cards. There are actually two Walmart credit cards, uh, but you're only going to get one of them, so we'll talk about what that means. Uh, Walmart credit cards are issued by Synchrony Bank, a bank that you may know as uh, a bank that backs up a lot of retail credit cards, including Walmart. Uh, so, like I said, there are two Walmart credit cards. There is a Walmart MasterCard, which you can use at Walmart and anywhere else. That MasterCard is accepted. And then there is a uh, Walmart store credit card. Now, the way this works in terms of which one you're going to get, when you apply for a Walmart credit card, you are first going to be considered for the Walmart MasterCard. If your credit history is good enough, you will get the Walmart MasterCard. If your credit history is not good enough, you will be considered for the Walmart Store Card, which you can only use at Walmart and Sam's Club uh, and Walmart.com. And if your credit's not good enough for any of them, obviously you'll be uh, rejected Im immediately. But depending on your credit history, you could be on the, you know, kind of the good end there where you can use it as a MasterCard and use it in multiple places, or you might be stuck using it just at uh, Walmart and Sam's Club. So in terms of the rewards, you get uh, 3% uh, in rewards when you make purchases at walmart.com, but not Walmart stores, that's important. Uh, you get 2% on Murphy USA and Walmart gas purchases, and you get 1% on Walmart store purchases. And if you have the Walmart MasterCard, you'll get 1% on any other purchases you make that are outside of Walmart. The rewards you get are given as a statement credit, meaning what you earn is essentially going to be uh, taken out of the balance that you owe, and it will reduce your balance, so then, you know, obviously you're not paying for the full amount of, uh, of your purchases. Uh, your rewards are gonna get taken out of that and essentially discount the purchases uh, that you have on the card. Um, if you, get instant approval. If you apply today for the Walmart card and you are approved, you can get a bonus. And that is $25 at least as of the making of this video, as long as you spend $25 with the card. So not only do you get a bonus, you also have the uh, possibility of being instantly approved for this card, uh, which is attractive to some people. Uh, in terms of the interest rate, you're looking at anywhere from uh, 18%-ish, a little bit over 18%, uh, to 24% plus, depending on where your, uh, uh, your credit history falls. So you could be approved uh, at a rate somewhere in that range. None of those interest rates are particularly good. So you don't want to carry a balance on this card. Uh, you're going to pay a lot of interest, and it's essentially going to eat away at any of the rewards that you have earned. There is no annual fee for the Walmart MasterCard, so you don't have to uh, worry about that. Now, in terms of how we feel about the Walmart credit cards, we think that the uh, rewards are, to some extent, a little more self-serving for Walmart than they are for you as their customer. So getting 3% back at Walmart.com is fine, and from Walmart's perspective, they probably want to drive more people uh, to the Walmart website and have them make their purchases there because they are in sort of a, you know, fight with uh, Amazon right now in terms of who's going to be the big online retailer. So they want to get you to Walmart.com, but you maybe are more than happy to, you know, continue to shop at Walmart stores. And in that case, you're only going to get, uh, you know, 1% on your purchases. So they're actually you know, giving your Walmart.com purchasers a significantly, significantly higher reward uh, for purchasing in that way. The 2% back on Walmart Gas or Murphy USA is good in terms of a, a gas reward. If you buy your gas there regularly, that is uh, a, a decent reward. So overall, though, there are many other credit cards on the market where you can get 2% cash back on all your purchases um, and, you know, the 3% at Walmart obviously is something that, or Walmart.com is something that only is good uh, at that particular uh, location. So you're not getting that bigger reward anywhere else. So we're not really all that high on the Walmart uh, credit cards in general. 
However, the thing to consider here is you can't only consider the Walmart credit cards in relation to, you know, the best bank cards on the market because not everyone obviously has the uh, best uh, credit history. And so in this case, Walmart is probably more likely to accept some people whose credit history and credit scores are not quite as good, people who obviously would not qualify for maybe some of the best bank cards. So when you look at the rewards, they don't necessarily stack up well to the best bank cards. And if so if you have excellent credit, there's really kind of nothing to see here. But if your credit is not as great, maybe these re rewards make a little more uh, sense for you. So you may be able to qualify here if, if maybe you couldn't qualify uh, somewhere else. So that is it. Thanks for watching. Please go to proudmoney.com for other credit card reviews and personal finance news and all kinds of good stuff too. Thanks.